welcome to another day of vlogmas as you can see i have a special guest with me today this is my daughter you want to introduce yourself tell them your name my name is brooke yes this is brooke <coughs> love you and we're going to show you guys today how to do this really cute um ponytail uh bubble kind of looking um, style for a little girl. Something super easy that almost any of you moms can do. I guarantee you it's not a braid. It's just literally ponytails and yeah. yeah, pretty easy to do. I mean, I like getting my hair done. Do you like getting your hair done? Yeah. I have a girly girl on my hands. Part of that is because I've created it. She loves makeup. She loves getting her hair done and she really likes it when I try different styles on her and Thankfully, because of a phone and YouTube, she sits pretty still for me. Um, and that's one tip if I, would you please stop? If I had to give any tips to anybody about like how to get your daughter to sit still, it's start working on their hair when they're young and get your hands in it and get them used to you messing with their hair. That way later on, it, it's not so much of a challenge. But anyways, yeah, she loves it. Would you sit? Oh. We're making an intro. So. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you moms enjoyed it or if you just found it helpful and maybe you tried it on yourself. So here we go. To start off this hairstyle, you're going to need some elastics. I use the clear ones. You can use colored ones as well. And this little topsy tail um, thing that I picked up, I'll be sure to link it below. We're going to start with three ponytails. One there, one in the middle, and then one at the very bottom. So after I've made my ponytails, this top one, I'm going to take a small section of hair from underneath the bottom of the ponytail and wrap it to hide the elastic. So this is how I hide the elastics when I'm doing these ponytails. So I twist it around about three times, take that topsy tail device, and stick it straight into the um, elastic where the hair is and lace that little piece of hair through and then pull it straight down so that it secures itself within the ponytail itself. Now I'm going to take another clear elastic and I am going to secure the top ponytail with this middle ponytail. So I'm gonna put them together and then Loop it through about two times, not too tight, and just to secure it, secure the two ponytails together. So I'm then going to just go ahead and start fluffing this little piece or section of hair into a bubble. So just kind of pulling gently out and kind of around to create a little bubble effect. And then again, I'm going to take a small section of hair from underneath, just like I did with the top one, very small, and wrap it around to hide the elastic. So again, wrap it around just about three times until the elastic's covered, and that's when I stop. And take that topsy tail, stick it into the ponytail itself where the hair lies, and again, loop that little piece of hair through and then pull straight down and it secures it really nicely without needing to use any bobby pins. And then once again for the last section I'm going to do the same thing. Connect the two ponytails together with an elastic. Again just looping the hair through two times just to make sure it's secure but not too tight to where I can't pull any of the hair up. And again, just fluffing to make a little bubble kind of Princess Jasmine look to this hairstyle. And then of course, finishing off by repeating the steps I did before where I take a small section of hair, loop it around and hide that elastic really good using that topsy tail. So 
So now we have this cute finished look, this princess jasmine inspired hairstyle that can be dressed up or down very easily. I just realized I did not film a exit video for you guys, but that is it for today's video. Hope that little tutorial helped y'all. We went to church with my mom. She surprised us by coming over and inviting us. So we went ahead and just rounded everything up and left and went to that and enjoyed our Christmas Eve service tonight a little early. But anyways, happy holidays and I'll see y'all tomorrow.